So Thank you. You are and a wonderful singer as well. So like when you're in this setting, is it hard to like not break out into dance because like obviously we're on the radio and lots of people yeah. can't see you. Um, <laughs> I could see the hesitation earlier. Yeah, yeah. If if I would, you know, if if we were. Like on a live stage. Yeah. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. The death, you I mean. know. <laughs> yeah, Everybody, waiting. they were just, you know, ready like, to pounce. I know, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, she, it's going to be dancing. Be, you know, um, you got a big concert, right? A birthday concert that's happening? Yes, it's a post-birthday celebration. Um, it's happening on June 25 at the Kia Theater. Uh-huh. And it starts at uh, 8 p.m. And mm-hmm. you do have a new album. We'll talk about that in just a second. Yes. Okay? So, you know, you're 15 now. Ooh, a very old man. Mm. You know? Yeah. I feel bad. I yeah. wasn't this accomplished when I was I 15. You should be like, I'm sure you're so, you guys are so proud of him. I'm yeah. like, yeah. Uh, see? Yeah. See? If you guys only know that the, um, the ratio here is about what? Four men and about 50 women. I know. Here at 15 years old. All out know? support. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's fun though. Beautiful song. Thank you. Grabe. Really, really nice song. I Home. Think people here were crying. <laughs> we were all. How old were you when you wrote that? Um, actually, this, this, this or last year. Mm. So I was fourteen now. Okay, so yeah. I'm curious, Darren. When you, you know, uh, before the voice, have you always been inclined to writing songs? Like when you were younger, you just didn't realize that you were already writing songs, or from, you know, like a child. You know what? I'm writing a song right now. Alam mo na, parang ganon. Well, when I was a kid, I liked to make up songs and write them, but I, I, I was too shy to like mm-hmm. let people hear it. Yeah. But then my second album, I want to give it a try, and then there. Yeah, because I think a lot of a lot of artists are like that. Like I remember, like Avril Lavigne before she, you know, super became like super Superstar. famous. She had like she's written like a hundred songs already, and she yeah. had that, you know. So do you like it? Like, meant like fifty, <laughs> like how many songs do you have hidden there? Ten thousand in a vault somewhere <laughs> in Canada. I don't know. I don't. I don't really know, but just a few. Yeah. Yeah. So what was the first song? Can you remember the first song you wrote? What was it about? A shampoo, some candy. <laughs> I actually forget. It's yeah. Like, I don't know. But it's just something that you like to do. And that's great, though, because it's like, you know, at such a young age, I wish I knew what I wanted to do. <laughs> at like Hello, eight. Darren. <laughs> Many message, you know, um, mm. people that we haven't heard from in a long time. Just like <laughs> Lani Lau. She said that uh, Angaling, very beautiful song. But her song, Home, Holy Smokes, I love it, Angaling. Thank you. Yeah, and and thank you for making us trend. Yeah. yeah. I think that's thanks to everybody in the room. My yeah. goodness. The concert series. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Is there more songs that are original um, that you have composed yourself? Yeah, on there's the another one called Hanggang Hi Hello on Uy. my new album. Margaret. Hello, Hanggang Hi Hello. Yeah. Okay. Stay in there. You're Okay. We'll just have to wait. Oh, and see. Yeah. Are you gonna perform that today? Uh, no. No, you won't be. No. So they have to buy the album. Yeah, yeah. they have to download it. To, to hear it, mm-hmm. right, right. Cool. So um, for those who don't know, he's going to be part of mm. ASAP. He's going to be a regular there oh. um, uh, on ASAP. So congratulations, man. Thank you. So, yeah, it's been, it's always been fun. It's a dream of mine. And now it's, um, it's come true. In- so... So, okay, you're 15, right? And you have this busy, busy schedule. So tell me, what's something that you miss about, you know, maybe not having your schedule planned out? What's something from, let's say, quote unquote, your old life? Um, well, when I don't have a schedule, I go to school. And then, I guess just being a regular person when I go out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not having, having to, um, be noticed. Yes. But that's a good problem. Okay. Kasi yeah. sa kami ni Rico, walang pumapansin. Oh, lumabas ako. <laughs> yeah, you Sabi, know. Sabi, ikaw yung sa CCTV. Yeah. Ikaw yun eh. That's, so, but that's yeah. great. Congratulations. Congratulations. What's the craziest thing that ever happened? Like, a fan experience? I guess it's like, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. Yung mga darinatics, alam nila eh. Yeah. Um, well, when I get home from mall shows, pag naliligo, minsan may mga din na lang na parang scratch. Uh-huh. And then means on my yeah yeah, pero but nobody in here for sure nobody. nobody no. <laughs> no. But, 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 <laughs> we're all very behavior. Yeah. Yes, may, and um. Make guy na ang itido na. 
ano ba? And then, also there are times where I, we really can't get out no? mm-hmm. of the place. So uh, how about being starstruck? Were you ever starstruck when you... Yeah. When you, like, you know, ngayon, you go to different TV shows? And people, oh my God, you just met that superstar. Um, yeah, I meet a lot of people. And then, I'm always starstruck with Ate Kasrin. Yeah. Yeah. She's so beautiful. Yeah. I'm starstruck when I see her. Who's that? Who, who? Like, Catherine Bernardo. Oh. I'm just yeah. like, girl. Ate tawag mo sa niya, really? Yeah. Yeah, and then when, when I'm when, like the first time I went to ASAP like there's oh, there ang raming artista mga singers tapos parang yeah. natulala na lang ako dun tapos kapun sa sports fest ng Star Magic talagang mas ang rami did you play? Uh, just games I, I wanted to do sports pero parang kailangan ko pang mag train but do you have a go to sport? do you have a uh, sport of choice for you? is it like pardon? boxing? basketball? what's that? <laughs> what's a sport that you like? um well yesterday I, I, I like watching I know the badminton games uh, and badminton. then siguro yung basketball so you, you don't play ball? yeah I try to sometimes pero nung nasa school ako we would have basketball games naka Shoot naman ako. <laughs> Naka shoot naman. And then I got I got some points on my team. Some yeah. points. Alright. Yeah, some points. I, I believe him. He's yeah. a, he, he was dancing kanina. I'm like, okay, he's athletic. Yeah, he has okay, moves. Athletic to. So, cool, <laughs> there cool, we cool. go. My goodness. So, don't forget. Uh, we're in a whole lot more plus the shows. But first, we're going to hear some more music. This one, is this from the new album again? Yes, it's from the new album. It's called Parachute. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Bea's joining the program. Just tuned in. It's a concert series here on Monster, RX 3.1 with Darren Espanto.